Hello, hello. So we got a fun one today, I'm hoping. I got a Zeiss Icon. I'll put some facts up on the screen here. Uh, I've always wanted to shoot on one of these, medium format um, German cameras. I just got it off eBay. I have no earthly idea if it's gonna come out or not. You know, it's, I've done the pre preliminary um, inspection. Everything looks okay. Let me tell you a little bit about what we've got here. We've got from f-stops 4.5 through 22. We've got bulb 25th of a second, 50th, 100 and 200th of a second. Can't speak. Um, and then we got our good old focus ring here, which goes from closest of four feet up to infinity and beyond. And I've kind of set myself up with a challenge today. Usually with new cameras, I like to do something very, I like to go with a film that's very easy, uh, forgiving, HP5, FP4. Um, prefer FP4, but a lot of times I'll just do HP5 because it's just, it's forgiving. Oh, for overlit, underlit, it just works out. But today I'm doing something totally different. One, I don't shoot color often. Two, I really don't shoot color in uh, medium format. And I definitely don't shoot color on my first outing with a camera. That's a lie, I might have done that with the Rebel G, but that was 35 millimeter. I've got Ektar 100 in here. So working with color is gonna change my composition and layout big time, the way I, I shoot. You know, it, it's less of, black and white is more of just form for me. The form, the layout, composition is very, like the lines and everything are, are predominantly what I'm looking at. Color, add another layer. If, if it's bland, I'm not gonna shoot it. It may look perfect in, you know, with the, the lines and the, the composition may look perfect, but if there's nothing for color, I'm not gonna shoot it. So it adds just a whole nother layer of fun. But what it also does is risks some underexposing today. We're gonna have to see what happens. Um, with old cameras like this, the slower you go with the shutter, the more chance you have for issues. You know, it, it'll, from what I've seen and read and watched on other channels, you know, if the higher you go, the more likely it's gonna be pretty close to that shutter speed. 200th is right around there, hopefully. 100, hopefully right around there, give or take a little bit. Usually take, usually it's a little under. It seems like shutters start getting real iffy when you start getting down to like 25th of a second on an old camera like this. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna use the light meter on the phone to give me the best chance, but probably thinking that in these shady forest conditions, I'll probably be at um, the lowest f-stop and I'm gonna try for at least a hundredth of a second. I don't want to go too low, but we'll do what we gotta do and we'll just hope that it comes out. So I'll start looking for some shots. So, interestingly enough, the first shot I wanna do, uh, light meter on the phone is coming back at a 25th of a second, so.
What an awesome camera. The Zeiss Icon. This camera, this lens is clear. I mean, beautiful, crisp photos. So let's talk about the results because I used Ektar 120. No. Yeah, I used Ektar. <laughs> The 120 film um, used Ektar, which is a 100 speed film. That meant I had to go real low on the f stops, which means, as a result, very shallow depth of field. And boy, do you see it. But what's clear is crystal clear. Like this shot, wow, this lens is awesome. It's amazing. But because I was down at, well, I have to be at the bottom, uh, f-stop 4.5, you can see it goes out real fast. That depth of field was shallow. But I just love this camera. I love that film too. I love Ektar. I think the color is beautiful. If someone said you got to use Portra or Ektar, Ektar is my go-to. I just, I just love it. I really do. And I already showed you most of these shots, just simple, really nice shots. This one just really emphasizes just the the amazing clarity of that lens, the super shallow depth of field I was working with because I really needed every every bit of light I could, so I had that down to the lowest f-stop, which again is 4.5. And this really shows off Ektar's just saturation levels with the nice reds and browns and the bright crisp green and the green back there this is a great ektar demo of ektar film and of the zeiss icon i just this is a cool shot and these are just a couple other shots i got i didn't really show the video but was just trying to burn the roll somewhere and i thought these this came out nice i like the framing i would probably crop it more like that if it was the full image just to lose a little bit of the sky i love the red from the building you know but this turn this back a little bit finally I, I've got a perfectly please stay that way perfectly functioning medium format camera in the Zeiss Icon um, an amazing lens so crystal clear on that beautiful camera amazing condition you know, I've got a bunch of medium format cameras, but there's always something quirky and fun about it, like with the Spartus or the um, Holga. And then I've had other ones like the Franco Salida Jr. and other ones where just there were light leaks and problems. This one is just, Mwah. love it. Beautiful camera. Can't wait to shoot more with it. Um, I want to shoot something with a little bit more speed on the film though. Give me a little more leeway as far as the f-stops get a little more depth of field rather than that super shallow depth of field which looked cool but you know just i love to experiment along try something else with this maybe some cooler than an hp5 a generic safe bet but something with a little more speed on it maybe like a delta 400 or something i don't know i'll figure something out though i, I love this camera this this so far my favorite medium format camera that i've touched absolutely excellent love it simple to use um even with the tiny 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 viewfinder look at that little guy i, I still didn't mind it you know it still seemed to just i don't know what, how, how to explain it but it just it just worked it just felt right the camera just you know when you get a camera that just feels like yep this is my camera this belongs to my hands it's like me with the Canon T70 for 35 mil. This is definitely my medium format camera. I love this thing. So that's it for this episode. As always, thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Etsy store. Um, there's even a thank you button now by comments that YouTube put on there. Super thanks or something. And uh, I will see you on the next episode.